let's take a look at regulatory structures in government. Regulation was initially to be a function conducted by administrative boards and commissions with greater independence. That being the case, the structuring of those entities was a matter of some importance. As regulatory activities spread more widely through the executive branch, those activities did not alter the structure of existing entities. Questions of organizational structure are now less significant than they once were. The scope of regulation, the types of regulations issued and enforced, and the impacts of those regulations are often at least as great for other regulators as for older, independent regulatory boards and commissions. The combined effect of these provisions is, or was intended to be, that these entities were better insulated from political influence and manipulation than others in the executive branch. Decisions clearly favoring some interests over others are not uncommon, although most decisions have substan substantive legal as well as political roots. But where and how to draw the line between them is frequently decided through the political process rather than as a result of clearly defined boundaries. Regulatory structure seems not to matter on those occasions when either Congress or the President attempts to impose restraints on regulatory bodies that may have acted unacceptably or illegally. Different regulatory bodies are subject to the same sorts of constraints regardless of structure. In much the same way, the procedures followed by diverse entities have become increasingly uniform. Procedures used by regulatory bodies fall into two broad categories, rulemaking and adjudication procedures. A rule issued under this authority represents an agency statement of general applicability and future effect that concerns the rights of private parties and has the force and effect of the law. Adjudication is a quasi-judicial power delegated to agencies by Congress under which agencies apply existing laws or rules to particular situations in a case-by-case -case decision making setting. The rulemaking process calls for regulators to issue notices on proposed rules relevant to administration of any given statute within a period of public comment lasting at least 30 days. The Federal Register is a complete listing of all proposed and active federal regulations available online. Written comments can be submitted by interested parties and if deemed appropriate, oral presentations can also be made. Although legislation can specify a deadline for publishing proposed rules and regulations, these deadlines are not always met. The Code of Federal Regulations is a record of all rules that authorize regulatory agency action.